those of us who have easy access to clean drinking water should appreciate it more. In Farmington, we're lucky to have city leaders who are proactive in local water treatment and its inevitable essential upgrades. You're watching the Local News Network, brought to you by Sunray Park and Casino and Distill Beer, Wine and Spirits. I'm Hannah Robertson. Improvements to the Farmington Water Treatment Plant are part of a 20-year vision that began 14 years ago with the passage of a renewal and replacement charge on utility bills. City Manager Rob Mays says it was controversial at the time, and opponents came out of the woodwork to fight it. Increased utility rates, however, are much more affordable than building a whole new water treatment facility. So we'll have a, really a lot of neat improvements. We're going to have our new clarifying systems. Again, that's the water that raw water that enters our system. Um, that will all be remodeled. Um, probably the biggest single feature is going to be our chemical room. Our chemical room will be totally upgraded which will be a huge improvement and allow us uh, really good efficiencies. And then again, the re at the very tail end, we will have a recycle facility that will recycle our water so that we don't have a large use of water. Uh, that actually will pay for itself in less than seven years. Renovations to plants one and two will increase average production of clean water to 28 million gallons da daily. That extra capacity matters, especially when you realize how much the population in Farmington swells on weekends and holidays. Just that we have a wonderful opportunity to serve a larger population. Um, our market area actually for retail is quite huge. Uh, which results in a lot of people say a lot of things. Some people say up to 300,000. Some people say around 150,000. I usually tell people 200,000 uh, population. And it, it makes it really nice that we have all the service capabilities, including water, that will service all the people that come into town during those periods of time. While our treatment plant uses a standard filtration system, Local resources in the Four Corners are special. What we have is a unique and wonderful system in that we have a nice lake which acts as a giant settling basin. So we pump out of the animus when the turbidity is lower and we have that luxury because of the large lake storage that we have. So it goes from the animus basin to the lake and once stored in the lake we access the water through a dedicated pipeline that goes to raw water pipeline that goes to our treatment plants. We have two treatment plants. Today we're at treatment plant one. The community's support is a big part of having plenty of water for everyone to enjoy. We just had a drought situation and we asked the citizens to save 10% water. They beat that. They saved 13%. So I can say we've got a wonderful town to work with. The, the town is a beautiful little town and we have what I'm really happy about as a community works director is that we have all the water that is needed to support the needs of our community. So, uh, you know, it doesn't get much better than that. Thanks for watching this edition of the Local News Network. I'm Hannah Robertson.